Allied naval forces began landing Allied armies this morning on the northern coast of France. The primary objective of the invasion is to secure a beachhead in Normandy, then capture the port of Cherbourg. In the first hours of D-Day, paratroopers will drop behind coastal defenses to isolate the beaches. Meanwhile, 5,000 ships carrying the main assault forces will rendezvous in mid-channel to await H-hour. At 6.30 a.m., small landing craft will take the troops to the five invasion beaches. The Americans will land at Utah and Omaha. The British and Canadians at Gold, Juno, and Sword. Twelve miles out, the Allied fleet transfers the men to small landing craft, which will circle until 5 a.m. It is no longer the war of generals and admirals. It is now the war of the men. Now, ten minutes to six. As the first waves of men head for the shore, the Navy's giant guns begin to open fire on Rommel's coastal batteries and beach emplacements. Finally, the beach is secured, and succeeding waves of men pour onto Omaha. Commanders who were ready to write off Omaha as a total failure now say the victory is a miracle. Allied naval forces began landing Allied armies this morning on the northern coast of France. secure a beachhead in Normandy, then capture the port of Cherbourg. In the first hours of D-Day, paratroopers will drop behind coastal defenses to isolate the beaches. Meanwhile, 5,000 ships carrying the main assault forces will rendezvous in mid-channel to await H-hour. At 6.30 a.m., small landing craft will take the troops to the five invasion beaches. The Americans will land at Utah and Omaha. The British and Canadians at Gold, Juno and Sword. Twelve miles out.